Hi, in this video I'll be proving why a over sine a equals b over sine b equals c over sine c. Now to do this I'll be using the triangle to my left. On this triangle there are four vertices a, b, c and n. c and n join up together to make a length called cn and there are also other lengths to this triangle small a, small b and small c. On this triangle there are also angles there is the angle a to our left the angle b to our right and the angle c at the top of the triangle. Okay to start off we first need to find out what sign a is so sine a equals opposite over hypotenuse which equals cn over b therefore cn equals b multiplied by sine a next we need to find out what sine b is so sine b equals opposite over hypotenuse equals cn over a. Therefore, cn equals a multiplied by sine b. Alright, as the length cn is equal to the length cn b multiplied by sine a equals a multiplied by sine b if we divide both sides of this equation by sine a we're left with b over 1 equals a multiplied by sine b divided by sine a. Now if we divide both sides of this equation by sine b we're left with a over sine a equals b over sine b so we've proven the first two parts of the formula up here a over sine a equals b over sine b we now have to prove that c over sine c is equal to a over sine a and b over sine b. Now we can do this by talking about the area of this triangle. Now you should know that the area of a triangle which isn't a right angled triangle is half AB multiplied by sine C, right? So let's put this down here. The area of a triangle is half AB multiplied by sine C. Alternatively, we can say that the area of this triangle is CN the length cn multiplied by c divided by 2 so that's area equals cn multiplied by c divided by 2 right because cn multiplied by c gives us the area of a rectangle 
around this triangle. If we divide that rectangle by 2, we get the area of this triangle. All right, as area is equal to area, half AB multiplied by sine C equals CN multiplied by C divided by 2. If we multiply both sides of this equation by 2, we're left with AB multiplied by sine C equals CN multiplied by C. Now, if we divide both sides of this equation by AB, we're left with sine C equals CN multiplied by C over AB. According to our information up here, CN is equal to B multiplied by sine A. Right? So CN is equal to B multiplied by sine A. If we take this information right here into account, sine C equals B multiplied by sine A multiplied by C over AB. Cancelling the B's on this side of the equation, we get sine C is equal to C multiplied by sine A over A. Okay, now we're going to rearrange this equation right here. We're going to multiply both sides of it by A. So we're left with A multiplied by sine C equals C multiplied by sine A. Now let's divide both sides of this equation by sine A. What we then get is A multiplied by sine C over sine A equals C over 1. Now, dividing both sides of this equation by sine C, we're left with A over sine A equals C over sine C. Now, since A over sine A equals B over sine B, A over sine A equals B over sine B, which equals C over sine C. And here is the proof that the formula up here is correct. Thank you for watching this video.